Hey, Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host Shahzeb signing in. We're back with another video, guys. In this video, we will be discussing Flare Network. Thesis behind Flare. It's going to be an interesting one, guys, so make sure to watch till the end. And folks, for those of you who are new to the channel, we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems. If you're interested in any of that stuff, then subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon for regular videos. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon. So do check that out as well, only if you're interested. And folks, keep your assets safe. And for that, you guys can check out the Crypto Growth exclusive discount offer on Decent. Decent is convenient, safe, and secure. You can check out their biometric wallet, which has got a phenomenal $50 off. And you can also check out their biometric wallet 2x package, guys, which has got an astonishing $129 off only if you follow the link in the description box below. By the way, folks, Decent supports 3000 plus of your favorite uh, coins and tokens, and it supports 50 plus blockchain main nets. I personally prefer storing the assets in a cold hardware wallet, so do check out Decent and be safe. Anyways, guys, now let us look into the price and chart of both Flare and Songbird at the time of the recording, and let's see what they have been up to lately. So, guys, Guys, this is flare let us look into the early chart guys it is up 54.50 percent in the early guys the price went all the way from 0 0.008682 all the way to five cent and and since that time guys uh, throughout the market we have seen significant dips uh flare has dipped as well almost you can double your bag if you had if anyone had timed this correctly we never know guys obviously no one has that crystal ball uh, in their hand uh it, it is really difficult to time these but anyways if anyone has timed it they can buy a they can basically double their bag at the moment guys uh, same can be said about songbird let's see songbird uh, over here so check this out guys songbird is up 49.65 percent when it comes to the early chart it went all the way to from 0 0.003865 to almost two cents and since that time it has come down uh, as well a, a dip and uh, testing crucial support levels over here 0 0.008 triple one almost yeah so similar charts to a certain extent what is this songbird word on the big street sgb is replacing solana okay uh really weird uh, weird comments in cmc holy moly look at that spring <laughs> okay so the songbird is undervalued guys it is down 96.84 percent 134.59 million dollar market cap flare as well guys it is uh uh, down 69.34 percent in comparison to songbird it is not much down but guys if you look at uh, its uh, all-time high over here okay so 69.31 percent over here as well guys uh, in the monthly the entire market has been bloody the uh, same can be said about uh, flare but it hasn't been as much bloody as a lot of other coins i know uh, it is down almost 10.44% uh, at the moment. 0 0.027 is the attraction point, point, guys, the magnet point. The price comes back to these levels again. In the last seven days, it is down 6.53%. And in the daily, guys, it is up 2.41%. Meanwhile, Songbird is down. Okay, so it is up. Songbird, <clears throat> on the contrary, is up 0.05%. So it hasn't been bloody even though it went as high as 0 0.012 basically touching that cent mark this is awesome in the last seven days guys it is down 2.88 percent and uh guys in the daily it is uh down 0 0.18 percent so nothing much over here so let me share with you the the, the uh, idea the thesis behind why we believe that flare network songbird they will be huge in the future guys let me share with you this post over here the core thesis behind flare networks is merging an evm layer one with high quality robust and economically secure data are you interested in exploring what sets FLR's approach apart within the Web3 space? Building trust, Flare's approach to F assets and economically secure bridges. So let me open this post over here, guys. And really interesting article over here. 
Building Trust, Flair's approach to F assets and economically secure bridges, explore Hugo Fillion's journey and Flair's innovative strides in blockchain technology, learn about Flair's distinct approach compared to competitors and its strategic vision for ecosystem expansion, setting new benchmarks in decentralized finance and data oracles. Flare is doing it all, guys. It is connecting everything. It is providing smart contracts to those do, that do not have intrinsic smart contracts. It is revolutionizing DeFi, basically providing really good oracles. Uh, this is awesome. What Flare is doing is indeed revolutionary, guys. Flare Networks, FLR Deep Dive with Hugo Fillion, decentralized on and off-chain data as the new oil. What is this? What is up, everybody? Solomon here. Super excited to be with Genfinity, interviewing a multitude of builders and ecosystems across Web3. Today, we have the honor. It's This is the, this is the first for Darren and I. It's the first for Genfinity to have um, Hugo Fillion, who is the co-founder of Player Network, CEO of Player Labs. Always like to start these out with a little bit of an intro. So, Hugo, if you could maybe just give us an intro of yourself, an overview of your role within uh, Player Network and Player Labs, that'd be fantastic. Anyways, guys, I think that this one is a uh, long video over here. But if you have uh, time, you guys can uh, watch this in your free time. Flare Networks, FLR Deep Dive with Hugo Fillion. I'm going to be covering this in another video, guys, because this one is uh, long. I haven't seen it myself, so I cannot basically uh, show you the bits and pieces of it. I want to show you this article mainly, guys. Check this out. Hugo Fillion, Navigating Flare's Evolution and Vision. Hugo Fillion, the co-founder and CEO of Flare. By the way, I think that uh, this article is also uh, basically decoded from this interview. So, yeah, win-win. My current role revolves around articulating Flare's vision and ensuring its significance, it, 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 which is widely understood. Almost all future use cases of the blockchain, AI, gaming, identity, real-world assets, etc. will require some amount of external data attested onto chain. Decentralization, without it, there is no safety. Scalability and low latency are key. So, yeah. Flare is the blockchain for data. Uh, yeah, Flare is the blockchain for data. So this is, uh, it is to connect everything, basically, guys. Cool. Flare's foundational principles, the ethos of Flare and its innovative features. The CEO delved into Flare's foundational principles and innovative features, positioned as a layer one EVM blockchain. Flare enables the creation of smart contracts that execute directly on chain. Essentially, what distinguishes Flare in the blockchain landscape is its integration of advanced data protocols. Central to Flare's architecture are two primary data protocols the Flare Time Series Oracle and Flare Data Connector. The FTSO initially focusing on the crypto price data, but adaptable to various time series, addresses the challenges of challenge of achieving consensus on data points through specialized algorithms. Awesome. Uh, basically, guys, we uh, really want good or accurate or external data for on-chain activities. Flare network bridging DeFi opportunities with kinetic market and beyond. I really like these new articles, guys. So much to cover about Flare. I really like it. So the core thesis behind Flare is merging an EVM layer one with high quality, robust, and economically secure data. In a nutshell, guys, they want, want this uh, layer one, a high quality layer one with the uh, economically secure data, uh, and they do not want to compromise the security. This is awesome. Exploring F assets, Flare's economically secure bridge concept. Why is the F asset system different? So this is a question. Why would you want that, guys? F assets is the first verifiable, verifiably economically secure bridge. F assets ensures the total value of the collateral is always greater than the bridged assets, eliminating economic incentives for attacks. Awesome. Uh, traditional bridges like multi-signature setups rely on nodes with stakes to validate transactions, he clarified. However, if the blockchain securing, securing these transactions hold, holds less or equal value to what's bridged, it opens up potential economic incentives for liveness attacks, a risk often overlooked. So basically it is uh, solving this uh, br uh, bridge security as well, economically secure bridge concept. 
uh, F assets, guys. It is basically providing uh, use case and smart contracts to those that do not have smart contracts as well the f assets expansion and ecosystem uh, focus so check this out f assets primary objective remains clear to establish the first economically secure bridge initial deployments will focus on bridging assets like btc and xrp setting a new standard in cross-chain interoperability like i told you guys there is doing everything guys this is awesome f assets expansion and ecosystem focus we won't be extending f assets to smart contract networks like ethereum or stable coins such as usdc and usdt the ceo emphasized these networks already have robust bridging solutions so obviously they are being realistic why provide something that is not required so uh, it, uh Un, uh, the, so unlike a uh, uh, non-smart contract tokens, they, they do not require it, guys. So furthermore, expressing interest in expanding F assets to include assets like Doge, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. Guys, this is awesome in the near future. He acknowledged the need to prioritize the largest and most liquid assets. Our goal is to ensure these systems are not only supported, but also established with high liquidity, he added. I really... Uh, thing that if FS uh, sorry Flare Network it's going to be huge guys. F assets can unlock the value of uh, 800 billion crypto assets and the private beta is now now live on Flare's cost on testnet. The system enables trustless use of tokens like BTC, XRP, and Doge on Flare, earning yields in DeFi and bridging to other chains via Layer Cake. So guys, they've got this DeFi solution in Layer Cake as well. They they are basically providing a use case in every sector in this space, emphasizing the user understanding and partnership success. Uh, he, uh, he praised uh, uh, partnerships such as with Bifrost Wallet. Guys, a lot of people are staking and getting airdrops over there, highlighting their seamless integration of core protocols like staking, delegation, staking, staking delegation, and their forward-thinking approach towards initiatives like uh, FSets. Moreover, Flare's development of the Flare Porter, portal further enhances user accessibility, complemented by the widespread familiarity and user-friendly nature of MetaMask on EVM chains. So guys, this is awesome. Flare is providing oracles as well. It is bridging assets. It is it, it is basically providing vision for XRP and DeFi. If, uh, so much, guys. So much over here, guys. Flourishing projects on Flare and Songbird. There is so much to cover over here and so little time. We might need a new video as well to basically go through that interview uh above as well the one hour long interview what do you guys think about uh, flare network guys it's songbird flare network and uh it's uh, uh the, the thesis behind flare network do you really believe uh, in the thesis behind flare network i would really like your opinions do hit the comment bo box below and let the community know anyways guys this was it for the video if you liked it make sure to like share comment subscribe and hit the notification icon if you're interested in utility coins and potential gems and you can also support the channel by becoming a patreon so do check that out like i always say in the end until next time stay blessed and stay tuned thank you very much everyone